Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS Academy. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 5th June 2024. So if you listen this word, 5th June, what will come into your mind? So this day is a very significant day, especially for all humans who are living in this beautiful planet Earth. So we are celebrating this 5th June as World Environment Day. So environment is very important because we are surviving on this earth because of habitable environment because earth is located in the goldilocks zone right so because of this saving of our environment is our responsibility okay and one more thing i want to say here is one more thing i want to say here is it is very important keep in your mind so our environment is degrading because of 90 percentage of human actions so as a human being and as a future civil servant we have to take care of our environment so from this day i request you to take at least one pledge to decrease this carbon dioxide emissions so it is my client request students okay let's get started with our analysis so if you see our today's newspaper entirely filled with election result okay so i want to I don't want to take especially this discussion as political discussion or political debate because all TV channels are filled with this debate. I don't want to say which political party have to come into power, so which political party should be supported to which political party, I don't want this. So if I start saying, I will be saying for next two hours also regarding each and every political party. I have that stamina. but. UPSC is not asking question regarding that, but this Rathod's IS Academy, it is take to teach the things which are relevant to UPSC, not out of this UPSC. Okay, so here you have to know one important thing. So this year is election. So many states, they have legislators in elections and we had this Lok Sabha elections. So the students who are writing this year UPSC prelims or giving UPSC, Yes, you have to focus on this election part, especially legislature, elections, Lok Sabha members, Rajya Sabha members, nominative members, and what is the value of vote of MLA, MP, and what is the criteria, so how this election process is happening, what is this election commission of India, and even CEC, that is chief election commissioner, election commissioners are seen highly in news. So in all these areas, you need to focus. So that for sure you will be getting at least two to five questions regarding this elections from your quality point of view. Okay, so be careful students. And even electoral bond scheme and its judgment is also in use. That is also related to this elections, right? Okay, clear? And now let us move on. So actually 70% to 90% of paper today is based on our election result only. So even in editorial page also they cover articles regarding elections. So we are skipping that. And I will be concluding this news analysis within 20 minutes today. Because I don't want to waste your valuable time. Because you can spend this time in reading something so that you may expect at least one question from that. So there is no need of reading this political articles at all. UPSC will be not asking any questions regarding political debates or political things. Clear? And now let us move on to directly editorial page. So I said even this editorial page also there is nothing much important. So in this opinion page there are three articles which are given. So this third article it is very relevant. So title says the verdict points to the importance of economic issues. So why this title? So actually we have BJP and as well as India blog that is alliance right. So if you see here what is this BJP number of or number of uh, seats? So if you go on to this front page, you will be seeing the number of seats got to which party? Okay, just a minute, I will show you so that you can remember it easily. So here BJP is short 32 of majority mark of 272 seats. And NDA is set to back 292 seats against Congress lead. And India bloc got 234. And Congress likely, likely to get 99. 
so actually if if any party should be forming government means it has to get majority so majority of like 272 seats okay and actually this bjp party is is in need of seats to form the government and even india block is also need some more seats to form the government so there is a tie which is going on so here this tie it to be resolved by this nitesh and naidu so nitesh and naidu emerge as king maker so based on those decisions now we are going to have our new government at the central level clear and if you move on to this article that i am going to talk in opinion page so if you see this title itself it is saying verdict so this election verdict points to the importance of economic issues so why here is so bjp party it is in power from last two times right that is from last 10 years it is in power but here the people because of increasing of social media and because of dhruv rathi channel so i want to say and i want to recommend one channel that is dhruv rathi so actually that person will be making videos and that person made this what is the thing regarding how bjp is doing something wrong and they uncovered the politics of bjp so because of this especially in north india 27 percentage of decreasing of this bjp party that happened because of this single channel single youtube channel dhruv rathe so watch that okay once if you have time and here now people are focusing on what the political party is doing they are monitoring okay because of increasing of penetration of internet so because of this now this india blog party is giving a tough fight to bjp and one thing i can say is we can connect this article with exit polls so what exit poll said so here bjp will be getting into power for sure and it will be getting more than how many seats tell me okay so it said it is going to get the majority of seats but now in the actual result yes the tough fight is given by this india okay india block so here this article is saying that so people they are monitoring unemployment in india and even people facing problems of low wages and there is inadequate livelihood and even there are issues with self employment and this one is rising prices of essentials and these are the problems that are not effectively effectively addressed by this modi government so these are the problems that are ignored and i want to connect this article with one more article because everything is interconnected as i said okay so if you go on to this uh, business page so don't think that i am teaching something <laughs> politics here so just i want to make you aware what is happening so here if you see this title sensex slides as bjp to relay on allies so what does this article mean so if you have seen this business paper after the exit polls released so the uh, the share value of adani they had been increased by 15000 crore but after once elections result is declared so it had in minus so because of this now sensex it had been slide down because there is a tension that who is going to become the power so if bjp comes to power so it will be giving all projects to adani right so can you connect this i said no so don't take into wrong and don't keep the negative comments in after this video once released okay just i want to make you aware so what is going on so okay let it be i'm not going to take any political or like political debate now so let us see this article in detail as a new psc aspirant you need to know about what is our economic situation from last 5 years i'm going to take the class on that i'm not going to take any further political debate in this class and one more thing here is i want to let you know about world environment day and its significance it is very important okay so first let us start our discussion with this world environment day 2024 so why because we are celebrating every year that is annually june 5th as world environment day 
So why? Why to raise awareness and to encourage action for protection of our environment. So you are focusing on increasing of awareness and to encourage action or protection of our environment. And next one is, so this environment day which is mainly started by UNEP, United Nations Environment Program. So it is one of the United Nations principal vehicle and we are promoting worldwide awareness and even we start taking some actions because of uh, anthropogenical factors like because of man-made factors so it is causing harm to our environment because of that there is climate change right so we have to address it now at the individual level onwards we can take the steps and we are celebrating this world environment day over 150 countries and this day which serves as a global platform so we are reaching public directly and we are uh, increasing the awareness and we are coming up with collaboration with the government like state government local government central government and government of one country with another country because when we are dealing with this environment related problems so single country cannot take the steps so almost all the countries they need to come together and they have to take the steps so then only we can address this problem of climate change okay next one is according to united nations so this celebrations which will provide an opportunity okay to broaden our enlightened opinion and even we can make people the responsible individuals they have to be accountable for the climate change and even enterprises communities and we have to preserve and we have to enhance the environment so what is the objective so the objective it is to raise global awareness Okay, we have to raise awareness. So we have to protect the environment and we have to promote sustainable practices. So these are the one important thing. And apart from that, you have to know, so which is organization organizing this United uh, World Environment Program? That is UNEP, United Nations Environment Program. So this is very, very important film start. And what is the theme of this World Environment Day this year? So the theme here is land restoration, desertification, drought. So why? Because so we are having problem of erosion. So we have to focus on restoring of our land. So our land is losing its fertility day by day because of increasing of use of chemicals, because of over exploitation of groundwater. Yes or no? So these are the problems that are especially facing in this green revolution belt of Haryana, Punjab and Western UP. So we have to take some steps and apart from that here there is spreading of deserts okay deserts are spreading and even whatever the lakes are there so they are drying up so we have to address those problems also so this is the theme of this year world environment day 2024 and what are the objectives of this world environment day so first one is we have to educate the people okay because we have to focus on sustainable practices sustainable environmental practices and we have to mobilize individuals and as well as communities organizations to participate in activities and to promote environmental protection and as well as conservation and this one is we have to advocate for adoption of eco-friendly habits and technologies in the daily life and apart from that here we have to address the challenges like climate change, like deforestation, especially you can add some examples of Amazon deforestation. Amazon forest area is decreasing because we are going for deforestation and expansion of agriculture. And this one is pollution is also an important problem. And this one is because of all these things, there will be negative impact on biodiversity. So there is a biodiversity loss which is happening day by day. Okay. And even we have to encourage collaboration between the countries, organization, communities to address environmental issues. And this one is we have to promote policies, initiatives so that we can protect our environment and we can ensure sustainable development as well. And this one is we can recognize and we can celebrate the efforts and success of individuals, organizations, countries in environmental conservation and as well as sustainability and this one is we can involve young people and local communities in environmental initiatives so that we can safeguard our lovely planet earth 
clear? So these are the things that you have to know. And if you are getting any question regarding why we need to celebrate this World Environment Day, so you can add those these things. At least you have like three to four points in your hand to write answer, right? So this is the thing that we are hoping from you students. And next one is the verdict point on importance of economic issues. Especially we are going to see the challenges that we are facing in our country from past five years onwards. The first important challenge is slowdown of economic growth. So why this slowdown we can connect with, with uh, COVID-19. So COVID-19 pandemic which led to a substantial economic difference in India in 2020. So because of this, it is causing negative growth or negative growth rate. And next one here is unemployment and underemployment. So because of this COVID-19 situation, it had worsened our situation and also led to shutdown or reducing of operations and even that is also leading to job loss. And next one is according to CMIE, that is Center for Monitoring India Economy, over 1.8 crore salary jobs, they were lost. Okay, and next one here is unemployment rate is also very high in India. It is around 7.4 in August 2020. And if you are comparing with 2019, it was like increased. In 2019, it was 5.4. So again, there is 2 point increase in this unemployment rate. And this one is according to National Statistical Office Periodic Labor Survey. So this report said that unemployment rate was 4.1 percentage. And if you're talking about challenges, even in this sectors like agriculture and allied sector, we are having some challenges. Okay. So there is decreasing of agriculture productivity and even exports, farmers issue. And recently farmers, they started protesting because of MSP and uh, Throughout uh, India also they went for Rasa, Roko, etc. Right? And next one is there is also deficit in our infrastructure and private investment. So we don't have proper infrastructure, especially according to World Bank, India's infrastructure gap is very high. It is dollar 1.5 trillion. And next one is private investment is also decreasing every year okay, in India. So this is also one important factor that is leading to decreasing of our economic growth. And India's infrastructure is estimated over $1.4 trillion and it is one of the key concerns including transportation, energy, healthcare, infrastructure, etc. And next one is we are also having some export challenges okay, because of Russia-Ukraine war, now at present Israel-Palestine Israel, uh, issue. And because of involving of uh, Houthis in this attacking of uh, ships which are moving in this Red Sea, again we are having some more issues, some more new headaches. Okay, and next one here is even our pharmaceutical industry it is also having some hurdles. And uh, why? Because there are some cough syrups that had been uh, banned in other areas which are causing some deaths in other countries because of some preservative which is added there in higher amounts. So because of this also our pharmaceutical industry is like decreased a somewhat little pace. Okay, so these are the things that you have to remember. And now you can directly move on to this page, that is business page. So there is nothing much important in between. So in this business page you can see Netherlands turns third largest export destination. So here whenever you are studying trade, trade includes exports and imports, there we have trade surplus and as well as trade deficit, right? So already you know about this trade surplus and trade deficit, right? I am not going to take that basic thing here. So here the Netherlands has emerged as India's third largest export destination after US and UAE during 2023 to 2024. Even as the country's merchandise shipments dipped by more than 3% according to the Commerce Ministry. So according to the Commerce Ministry, it said that now India's third largest export destination is Netherlands. So you have to open map and you have to see where this Netherlands is located. So it is in Europe. So you have to search and let me know which are the countries sharing boundary with this Netherlands. Clear? And actually here the main commodities where we are exporting were like uh, first one is petroleum products, next one is electrical goods, chemicals and pharmaceuticals. So these are the products that we are exporting from India to Netherlands. Okay, and we are having 
trade surplus. So, if you are getting uh, this type of questions, like consider the following countries, with which countries we are having trade surplus. First one is US, second one is China, third one is Netherlands. So, with China we are having always trade deficit only. So, with US and Netherlands we have trade surplus. And please let me know which are the five countries that we are having trade surplus. Clear? Please let me know. And next topic here is about hundreds in emergency shelters after Philippines volcano erupts. And actually in our today's online live class of geography, sir dealt with this topic of volcano. Because of that, I am not taking basic st static syllabus of geography from volcano. And one more thing I want to let you know. So from, from today onwards, we completed our free demo classes of live online. So now it is a time for subscription. So students, if you are, if you like this classes and whatever the content we are providing, so please do subscribe to our online foundation course. And for online foundation course, we are charging just 30,000 rupees. So in this 30,000 rupees, you will be getting videos, okay, of live. So if you are not attending live, you will be getting option of recorded class. You can watch that. And these recorded videos that you can watch for next one year. So you have this facility. So the entire coaching duration will be one and a half year. And next one is you will be getting daily prelims questions, prelims test will be there. And this one is mains answer writing practice daily and one to one mentorship with the stoppers. And next one is you will be getting comprehensive study material and weekly, monthly and daily current affairs also. Okay, so these all are the benefits that you are going to get if you are joining this course. Okay, and this course will be helpful to you to clear your UPSC for sure. Because we are going to have strong foundation. And apart from this classroom classes, even we are going to provide you the NCRT based videos. Okay, that will be very helpful. That things will be like based on the mind map. So that you can easily understand them and you can usually remember them. Clear? Okay. Now, let us see this article in detail that is hundreds in emergency shelters after Philippine volcano erupts. So, volcano erupted in Philippines, you can see here some background image, right? So, here if you see the context, it says that in, in this Philippines, so at least 2800 people have moved to emergency centers after volcano erupted in central Philippines. So, this mountain name is Mountain Kanlon on Negros Island, okay. So, Kanlon volcano, it is the most active volcano in this Philippines and its elevation is 2435 kilometers and is the highest peak in this Visayas. And this is also famous for trekking and uh, as well as climbing, etc. But whenever there is very bad weather, or whenever there is production of volcanic eruption, they will be start stopping this uh, climbing and as well as trekking. So this is map of Philippines. So let me show the location. So here we have Canelon and here we have other important volcanoes like Ragang, Mayon, Tal and Pinatubo. Clear? Pinatubo. And here this is called of our Pacific Ring of Fire. So this Pacific Ring of Fire here especially. Uh, this location of Philippines is located where it is very famous for earthquakes and as well as volcanic eruptions. So what is this Pacific Ring of Fire? So it is a string of hundreds of volcanoes and as well as earthquake sites in this Pacific Ocean region. So especially it, uh, it is because of this plate movement, so plate convergence. So here we have major plates and minor plates, there is convergence is happening. So because of this plate movement, so this region is very, very vulnerable to this earthquakes and as well as volcanoes. So where they are present like Eurasia, North America, Juan de Fuca, Cocos, Caribbean, Nazca, Antarctic, Indian, Australian, Philippine and other small plates they are present. And especially this Pacific Ring of Fire which uh, moves or which will be present around 15 countries like USA, Indonesia, Mexico, Japan, Canada. Guatemala, Russia, Chile, Peru and Philippines. Okay, so these are very important things that you have to remember. And because already we last uh, covered this right in morning session, so I am not going to cover that. And students, if you want to take this online 
subscription. So even there is EMI facility. So for that details or for that queries, you can call me on this number. 8074765513 and if you want to take offline so still for 10 more days or 50 20 more days you can get this free or demo classes that are available in this classroom okay i am shooting this video from the classroom itself okay so this is our classroom setup only i'm not there in recording room so if you come to offline still you can listen this classes for next 20 days but online had been done and if you want to take subscription you can call me on this number and you can get the details of the fee structure and even installment facility so thank you so much for students so that's all today i'm going to wind up here and in the tomorrow session we are going to have further more important articles until then keep watching the Arthur science academy and please do like share and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching